So inequalities can also be dealt with and solved in exactly the same way as we learn how to solve an equation. Here are four examples of one-step inequalities. So beforehand, we looked at, um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, one-step equations. So you can go back to the video on one-step equations, if you're not so sure of those. And they are solved in exactly the same way. So it's almost like, forget that the inequality symbol is there. For us, at this point in our mathematical steps towards greatness, if you like, we don't need to worry so much about that inequality symbol and what's going to happen to it. So treat it like an equal sign. So if 2x is less than 6, if I ignore the equal sign, just the inequality, and think of 2x equals 6, well, what I would do is I'd divide both sides by 2, and I could do exactly the same thing here. So x is less than 3. Dividing that by 2, dividing that by 2. x plus 3 is greater than 5. Well, if that was an equal sign, I'd take 3 from both sides. So I'd do exactly the same thing. I'd take 3 from that side, so I'd take 3 from that side. Okay? So if that had been x plus 3 equals 5, I'd now have x equals 2. It's just that the symbol is different. And that's the thing. You need to get over that kind of worry about the symbol. Treat the inequalities at this stage as if they are e equations. x minus 7 is less than or equal to 2. So x minus 7 equals 2. I'd add 7 to both sides. So x is less than or equal to 9. This one, something divided by 8 is 10. Well, that's 80. So x is greater than or equal to 80. Okay? So... All that has happened is that I'm, the, equa the equality symbol, the equal sign, has been swapped with another symbol. But everything else that I've been able to do before is perfectly valid and perfectly allowed. Now, if you're watching this and going on to higher, then you'll know that that's not quite true all of the time. But at this stage, we don't need to worry about it. If you multiply through by minus 1, or divide through by minus 1, or any negative number, then the symbol switches around. But we don't need to worry about that at this stage. So let's look at one more example and show you of how this can work. Um, this would be a two-step inequality. Uh, let's have... What should we have? Um, that. So 3x minus 8 is less than or equal to 7. Well, if I ignore the inequality symbol, I just treat it like an equation, adding 8 to both sides, I would get 3x is less than or equal to 15, adding 8 to both sides, and then dividing both sides by 3, so x is less than or equal to 5. Okay, and that's how we deal with solving an inequality. No change of equations for us, um, so don't let it put you off.